This is uh, often referred to as the classic shoot the monkey demonstration. The idea being that an object uh, falling from rest will fall at a, by a distance a half gt squared where t is the time since it started free fall. It's true whether an object is dropped from rest or even when an object is shot as a projectile, if we treat the projectile position as being where it would be without gravity, and then the half gt squared is then the distance below that straight line trajectory that this projectile will fall. As a consequence then, uh, if I use uh, the time equals zero as the moment that a ball leaves this launcher here, then it'll fall an amount of half g t squared below its straight line trajectory. If I then also at the same time drop something from the point where this is pointed at the same moment the ball is launched, then this will also fall by an amount a half g t squared. And therefore, regardless of the speed at which I shoot the projectile out, then the two shall meet at that location. So to make this experiment work, uh, we need a complete circuit that will guarantee that the object is dropped at the same moment that the projectile is launched. So we have a circuit here with an electromagnet at one end and a switch at the other with a power supply in the middle. Um, when this switch is closed, it activates the circuit So that now we have a complete electromagnetic circuit here. And my trusty companion here, George, with his flak jacket for protection, uh, will now be able to be hung from this electromagnet. Now that he's in his place with the ball already launched in the projectile, uh, launcher, then we simply use compressed air to then force the ball out of this and allow the entire sequence to take place. <laughs>